everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Up today we've got Vintage Suitcase Turntable by Vox Sung. It features a three-speed turntable with auto stop, built-in two speakers, RCA output jack, wooden base with retro design, and my favorite, good workmanship. So, let's open it up. That worked pretty good. And one more time. All right, let's see what we have here. It does not look anything like a suitcase player. That's the first thing. We've got an owner's manual. The unit itself is wrapped in plastic, so I'm going to gently take that off. Power supply it does have the external DC power supply foam block to protect the platter, and that's pretty much it for setup. Look at that wood. That is gorgeous. What a unique veneer. I have never seen anything remotely like this. Now, the form factor is definitely not a suitcase. I'm not sure why it says that. The form factor is very unique. It's kind of chunky, and it's rounded on the front and the back, and it's got this wild veneer. Oh, this is interesting. Look at this. You can kind of see where the veneer is bubbled up. You can kind of mash your finger into it a little bit. At least it's on the back and not the front. But, yeah, there's no doubt it's a veneer. The side here, this is completely fabric and i can feel that there is a speaker indentation here we've got a panel here let's look at that closer pretty simple panel we just have rca jacks that are recessed and a 12 volt power supply here's a closer look at the uh, speaker grill it is a soft fabric so yeah you got to be careful about not jamming your thumbs in there when you're trying to pick it up or something like that also you can kind of see how the laminate is applied around here it's probably an mdf or fiberboard type of material it's a pretty wild pattern though i've never seen anything quite like it looking on this side the whole thing is just a fabric piece with the speaker and what looks like a passive base port back there looking on the back again there's nothing in terms of connections you can see the seam of that wrap which is a great place for a seam on the bottom side interesting panel right here it looks like this can come off i wonder what's under there that's very very interesting regulatory sticker but that's about it the feet are a rubber type of material probably synthetic rubber and that that same you know wood look on the bottom there very interesting right this is a cool sort of i'm thinking like a late 70s early 80s design aesthetic i think this is supposed to be oak is that would you guys agree is this an oak kind of finish oak was really big in the 80s as a child of the 80s i remember like everything being this color like chairs tables okay this is weird first of all similar mechanism to what we're used to three points of rubber contact a little c-clip this will be belt driven the motors over here cheapish 45 adapter and speaking of 45 adapters Okay, so I've teased this a couple of times, but here's what's going on. So we are making these. They're 3D printed. We have a handful of different colors. These are two that we're going to be leading with, the uh, metallic purple. And this was supposed to be like a Christmas theme, like red and green, but it's it's tra it's got both green and red elements. Not sure if it looks Christmassy or what, but it's cool looking anyway. These will be the first two. We are going to be selling these in an ebay store and you'll be able to purchase these they'll be made to order they'll be exclusive limited edition colors some new designs coming in the future price ridiculously low so stay tuned for that definitely want to share that with you so i'm going to go ahead and put that adapter back there instead of the boring one why not right okay let's look at things so this tone arm is the typical type i forgot to take this off by the way you know we've been talking lately about formats and things and not sure if you saw the memo but my wife's channel which is called rain's place link down below is where we are continuing the christmas event and vlog coverage for the rest of the christmas season so you are cordially invited to join us over there if you liked all that christmas event stuff and we'll keep doing the product reviews over here again link down below rain's place you're welcome to join us we'd love to have you over there we were very happily overwhelmed by how many people commented about how much that stuff meant to them and uh, it means a lot to us to hear that so this mechanism 
the gimbal is it's loose like it normally is. It does have a lift shelf that is a hard plastic lift shelf. Got a tone arm lift. The descend is super slow, which is good. Not it's not too slow, but it is definitely damped, well damped. Look how it wants to kind of jump off the edge of that. That's interesting because you lift it up and down and then it kind of goes off to the side. But that's no huge deal. This does have an auto stop switch. So if you press this switch into the on position, which it is right now, the record will stop rotating when it reaches the end of the record. And this is the speed selector switch. It is a three speed unit. We'll check the speed accuracy in a minute, but that's where you would change the speed. Here's another look at that lift shelf. I don't think I've seen one that's that exact shape before. It's got this sort of weird angled piece over here. And again, it is a rigid plastic, which it doesn't matter. I mean, I like the ones that have rubber on them a little bit better, but it does the trick. We have talked about these a lot lately, so I'm not going to spend a great deal of time. It is a Chuo Denshi clone. This one does have the metal cantilever with the boot and the bridge. So it is a higher end variant. It does look like it has a pink tint to the needle itself. So I'm going to say this is a sapphire tip, meaning that it's good for about 100 plays. So you can upgrade it to a diamond or another sapphire for you know pennies on the dollar. It's very cheap to do so. No big deal at all, but it will work for our purposes. The big question is, has this cartridge been impedance matched? If it has, the sound should be good. Do you remember the box saying anything about a radio? Because I don't. However, it has a tuning dial right here. It looks like both AM and FM. So that's interesting. We'll have to check that out. Our volume control is a switch and volume control. Good drag on that. Down here, our function switch. So yeah, AM, FM, phonograph, and Bluetooth. It looks like there's a piece of junk in there. <sighs> Bluetooth light. The knocks knocks in a headphone jack, so that's really cool. So you can listen to a record privately with this if you don't want to annoy your neighbors with little speakers. <laughs> Not being judgmental, they are little speakers, right? doesn't mean they're bad. They're just little. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up and run some tests. All right. Tracking force test. This should be somewhere in the five to six gram neighborhood. Let's see what it registers at. Okay, so it's pegging at five. I feel like it's not much over five, but we're gonna go ahead and put the five gram weight on there. Zero it out. As you noticed, it didn't go all the way to uh, five when I put the weight on it. So it's not 100% accurate, but you'll get the basic idea. So. We're going to add negative 4.2 to whatever value we get on this above zero. And that's how we're going to know the tracking force. So it is one point. We're going to call that 1.4. So it's around 5.6 total. And that's right in range. That's exactly where this should be. This does require a little bit more tracking force than other turntables because of the ceramic cartridge. Okay, here is arguably the most important thing, the speed accuracy. So I'm going to turn the unit on, put it to phonograph mode, and spin it up. We will be looking right here. This is 33 RPM. As you can see, it is fast, which is predictable. These seem to always run fast, but not slow. There will be a little bit of drag introduced when the needle drops, but that right there is... You probably want to make an adjustment if you wanted it to sound perfect pitch wise going up to here for 45 also a tad fast and at the top it is three speed 78 rpm is fast as well for our testing purposes today probably not a huge deal however if this is a unit and you received one that was a little fast like this you may want to make an adjustment to the speed of course doing so would void your warranty so that is something to consider. Okay, sound test. This is an ambient sound test with our stereo mic. We'll be listening to the speakers in the room. Here we go. All right, moving on down through the record. This is a Vinyl Moon release mixtape album. radio 
digital tuner. Bringing relief is far beyond. <laughs> Elderly Jew who is reception is adequate. It's not too exciting. I mean, it's it's sensitive enough. We're picking up the main things, but it's not the best tuner, not the worst either. AM doesn't sound as good. The reception's not as good either. As to the Chiefs, Mahomes 15 of 25 for 250 was sacked one time. By the way, that was Draymond Jones, as I initially called. Had two touchdown passes, both to McKinnon. Had two interceptions, as I mentioned, one to Jewel and one to Sertan. Third quarter is presented by your Colorado GMC dealers. Who is not a sponsor. Okay, let's do a Bluetooth test next. This is Ace is High by Kevin McLeod. This is pegged at the highest volume, and the phone that I've got connected to it's also at the highest volume, and it is just at a comfortable listening level. So the Bluetooth is awkwardly quiet. Okay, so here we've got a CD feeding into the line input. It uses the same uh, button here as the Bluetooth. So press the Bluetooth and it also activates the aux in. Very quiet, probably even more quiet than the Bluetooth itself. I've got the headphone amplifier on the CD player cranked and I've got the volume cranked and it's not quite to a comfortable level. You can also hear a pop. That may be the CD player when I switch tracks. Some of these newer CD players do that. Yeah, so it's a it's adequate from that from the standpoint of it physically works. And speaking of that wood, I would say that's probably the biggest distinguishing characteristic about this device is the style, which is cool. And if that's what you're really looking for as sort of a leading factor in your decision, then you know you're not going to find another one that looks like this. <laughs> At least I've never seen anything near this. It's just truly, truly unique. From a performance standpoint, I think it's okay. It gets the job done. It plays music. It doesn't sound terrible. It just is limited by the ceramic cartridge, the small speakers, and the two quiet inputs on Bluetooth, and especially the line in, were probably the biggest yellow flags. However, there's nothing really wrong with this unit. I think that it is relatively well done. And the issues I was having could be specific to my unit that I got. So the next one on the production line may not have that issue. So all in all, I think it is acceptable. It is cool in certain ways. It is a decent performer. And if you are hooked by the design factor, I've got no real reason to say no, that you shouldn't get this unit. I'll put a link in the description down below if you are interested. As always, I'm just so fascinated by what they've got out there, what they're coming up with, these ideas and kind of following these designs and releases of these different turntables is fascinating. So I hope you enjoyed this. All right, my friends, and that is going to do it for today. Happy record hunting. We'll see you next time.